Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Elementor custom code feature. In many cases, you may want to add some codes or some JavaScripts on your Elementor website. In that case, you can use the Elementor custom code feature. Let's consider you want to add the Google Tag Manager or the Google Analytics code in the head section of your Elementor website. In that case, you do not need to edit the theme file manually you can use the custom code feature in Elementor website. So in this video, I'm going to install two different types of codes. The first code will be Google Analytics code, which will be added in the head section. And the second code will be a chat script, which will be added in the footer section or in the body section of the Elementor website. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. The custom code feature is available only for the Elementor Pro plugin. Let me deactivate the Elementor Pro plugin and go to Elementor. Here you will see custom code. If I go to custom code, it will ask you to upgrade to Elementor Pro. So this feature is available only for the Elementor Pro plugin. So let's go back to plugins and activate the Elementor Pro plugin. Now let's go to Elementor and under Elementor, you will see the option custom code. Click on it. Let's create a new custom code. Click on add new custom code. And I want to use this custom code for the Google Analytics. So I'm going to name it as Google Analytics. And you can create multiple custom codes. It's not necessary that you can create only one file for the head section or only one file for the footer section, body section. You can create multiple custom codes. Now let me grab the Google Analytics code. This is the Google Analytics code. And I'm going to paste this code here. And here you will see the option location. Where do you want to add this code on your website? In which section of your website? You will see three different options, head, body start and body end. So some codes will need to be added in the head section of the website and some codes will be added in the body section in the beginning or in the footer section. So I'm going to use head section for this Google Analytics code. If you are creating multiple custom codes in the head section, you can also mention the priority of each code. So let's consider that this is the Google Analytics code. And I have another code that I want to add in the head section of the website. Then I can define the priority of these codes, which code will appear in the beginning. So here you can add the priority for that particular code. All right. So once you add the code, you can click on publish. It will ask you where do you want to show this code? Here you will see the option entire site archives or singular pages. If you select singular, then you can select post or pages where you want to show this particular code. If you want to use this code only on home page, you can select, you can search for home page and select the home page. So this code will be added only on the home page head section, All right? So let's delete this one. Click on add condition. I want to use this Google Analytics code on the entire website. So I'm going to use entire website. And let's consider that you have another Google Analytics code that you want to use for the blog section or the post on your website. So in that case, you can also add multiple condition. And here you can exclude this particular code, let's say singular post. So from all the post, this code will be removed. So let's delete this one. We are going to use this code on the entire website. Click on save and close. So this code is published. Let's go to the home page of this website. And let's go to page source. And let's see if we have this Google Analytics code here. Yes, you will see that code is added in the head section. You will see this is just before the end of the head section. All right, now let's create a new code. Let's go to Elementor, go to custom code again. You will see this is the first code. Let's click on add new code and this will be a chat script. So I'm going to name it as chat script. Now here I want to add the chat script from Go High Level Services. So I'm using Go High Level Services and I want to show the chat box on the website. So here I'm on the chat widget and I'm going to get the chat code. It says copy this code in the body or the footer section of your website. So I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to use this code in the footer section. 
So let's go to Elementor and paste the code. So this is the code and I'm going to use it at the end. All right, and let's click on publish. I want to show it on the entire website. Save it. Now let's go back to the website and refresh it. And you will see the chat is added on the website. Those who do not know about Go High Level Services, I have published many videos on how to use Go High Level Automation Services. This is one of the best automation and CRM tool that you can use. Now let's see, I want to show this chat script only on the home page. Let's go back and here you will see the conditions are available. So I'm going to edit the condition and instead of entire website, I want to show this on the home page only. So I'm going to select pages and from here I'm going to select home page. All right. Now before publishing this condition, let me show you. Let me try to go to other pages. This is the second page. And you will see the chat is available on the second page also. Now I'm going to publish this new condition. It will be shown only on the home page. Click save and close. Click update. Now I'm on the contact page. Let me refresh it. And the chat is not available on the contact page. So that custom code is added only on the home page of the website, not on all the pages. Let's go to home page again. And you will see the chat on the home page only. Now let's change the condition again. Let's delete this one and let's make it entire website. Save and update. Let's go back to contact page and the chat is available on the contact page also. So this is how you can add multiple custom codes in different sections of your website. You can add HTML codes as well as JavaScripts on your Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.